Hello everybody, welcome to our session, our live class. Today we're going to talk about comparatives and superlatives. Okay, hello Bogus, hello MD Mare, hello Cat and others. All the students are 34 students here, that's perfect. And let me, okay, let's start. Okay, someone raised um, his hand. Please wait at the end of the class. I will grant permission to speak. Okay, because our classes are chat-based. So only, after, only at the end of the class, students can speak, ask questions, different things. So. For now, please keep it in the chat. Hello, hello, cat script. Okay, let's just start, please. Once again, listen carefully because I'm going to ask you to make sentences Answer some exercises and questions together during the class. So make sure you are listening carefully. Hello once again, everybody. Let's begin. All 42 students, you're all welcome. Let's begin. How are you? Thank you very much. Okay, so English with the name of a comparative and superlative. Also, let me tell you something before we start. You can download this PDF. And at the end of this PDF, I have uh, provided like 30 is yeah 30 questions 30 sentences we can say examples of this topic so you can download this PDF from my website let me also write my website here yes you can go to my website and download it for free and many other PDFs but now let's start and focus on our lesson Okay, it's an intermediate grammar topic, means you need to know what a verb is, what a noun is, what an adjective, an adverb, uh, adjective is, an adverb is, and you need to have a basic knowledge of English. And at the end, you will be able to use comparative and superlative in your daily conversations. First of all, what are comparatives? Comparative are adjectives or adverbs expressing a higher degree of equality or characteristic. For example, bigger is a comparative form of big, and more quickly is a comparative form of quickly as an adverb. I have a question. Does anyone here want to say something else? Want to say another explanation, definition of uh, comparatives? If you want to say the meaning of comparatives in your own words, please type it down. I will wait one and two minutes. Uh, so if you want to write or reinterpret the meaning or the definition of comparatives, please do it now and send it. We're going to read your messages here. Good. Hi, guys. Hello. 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 Welcome, everybody. Okay. Some people are typing. Okay. That's good. And also, let me tell you something. If you just sit here and listen, you're just wasting your time. The point in learning not just English but all languages and other things is that you interact okay so the more you interact the more you will learn so make sure you are interacting okay so no ideas about definition of comparison so do you agree let me ask like this do you agree with this actually text here this paragraph here it says comparative or adjective or adverb expressing a higher degree of equality or characteristic is it correct? Uh huh. Bigger compared to something else. Big, describing something. Uh huh. Is basically adding adjective with more or er to compare two things. Uh huh. These are some keywords. Two things based on their qualities. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah. Actually, it's correct. Mostly we compare two things to people to groups together. That's good. But why do we use comparatives? We use it, as, as our friend said, to compare two things and express which one has a higher degree of equality or characteristic. In other words, we use comparative when we want to compare someone or something with someone or something else. But how many types of comparatives and or superlatives do we have? We have monosyllable adjectives, we have multisyllable adjectives, and we have irregular adjectives. We're going to cover them all in this lesson. Okay, let's talk about monosyllable adjectives. Hmm? Monosyllable adjectives have only one syllable. Mono means one. Okay, I think it's come from Greek. So, monosyllable adjectives mean 
those which have only one syllable. For example, hot, big, ugly, fast, cold, small, short, tall, uh, many other examples we have. These are monosyllable adjectives. In order to use comparatives with monosyllable adjectives, we add the suffix er, as our friend said. In general, generally we add it. But there are something about a spelling. We have some spelling rules. But let's talk about it. But generally in a spoken English, it's okay. You say bigger, hotter, uglier, faster. It's okay. But even if you're writing something, you need to take care about its spelling. Okay, and if, and if you have any questions, make sure to type it down, okay? Any questions, anytime, write it down. Comparative, comparing about two or three things. Uh, normally two things. Where are, you from? Uh, where are you from? Hello, guys. Hello, welcome, Abdu. Comparing two things based on qualities. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. You mean they should have uh, a kind of quality. For example, we're talking about ugliness and we should compare it together we cannot for example compare uh, a person's uh, for example weight with a person's uh, for example kindness the quality should be the same I think that's what you want to say honorable king honorable knight 99 yeah okay that's good what is syllable syllable uh, for example each verb aha uh -huh, syllable good Nemo uh, it doesn't run. It don't actually. Uh, it depends on your location. Mm, some locations are restricted. Not. I didn't do that. It's because it's based on WordPress. And if it doesn't work for you, you should use a VPN proxy or something. Generally, but it works. But here, uh, a syllable. A syllable. Uh, generally, for example, beautiful. Okay. It's something. Do you, do you see? Do you see? For example, we say a stress part. A stress syllable for example for the verb develop we don't say develop say develop develop or for example for for begin we say begin for example this is a stress syllable generally uh, when we can divide aha uh -huh, beautiful yeah beautiful when we can divide into some syllables into some parts of a spelling of pronunciation we say that's a syllable for example beautiful or communication but for example big is only one has only one syllable big we can't do anything else got it thank you great yeah okay why don't we write about a study in this channel i think we don't need to write about our own self our self you mean on self why don't we write about a study in this channel actually this channel for classes when classes are uh, happening they use this okay so let's continue Let's talk about the rules here. If the adjective ends in a consonant, vowel, consonant, uh -huh, this format, this template, this pattern, make sure you remember this because this is very important and you're gonna need it a lot. Also, let me tell you some good news. I'm going, actually not going to, I've already recorded two parts of a spelling rules, videos about spelling rules. I'm going to upload them on my uh, YouTube channel. Actually, I covered all the spelling rules and past participle, present participle, singular s, comparative, superlatives, all, everything about a spelling, uh, I will upload it on my YouTube. But, so, this is really important. Consonant, vowel, consonant. You, actually, we, are, we normally show it with this pattern. Consonant, vowel, consonant. It says, if the adjective, the monosyllable adjective you have ends in this pattern, double the final consonant. For example, big. B is consonant, I is vowel, and G is consonant. So you need to double the final, means G, then you add ER. Big, bigger. Hot, hotter. Vet, better. Or for example, you say vetter or vetter, something like this. Thin, thinner. The point is this double Final consonant. This is it for that. If the adjective ends in consonant plus y, uh -huh, that's something else. You need to change y to i, then you add er. For example, silly. You have consonant, you have l plus y. And y itself is a consonant. So what you do is that you remove y and then i, e, r. Silly, sillier. Lucky, luckier. Again, in a spoken English, 
you're the same. It doesn't matter. Okay, you say luckier, bigger, harder. But when you're writing, that matters. So you need to make sure you're following the spelling rules correctly. Happy, happier, lazy, laser. And if your adjective ends in E, you don't use double E here. For example, large, we never say larger like this. No, that's wrong. Larger, you, ha you already have an E, so just add R. Larger, politer. Actually, polite, and nowadays they also say more polite is okay. Both forms are okay. More polite or politer. Brave, braver, nice, nicer. And generally, when none of the situations above exist, just add ER. Long. There is no consonant plus Y. There is no consonant vowel consonant. There is no E. So you should you can just add ER. Long, longer. Fast, faster. Short, shorter. Tall, taller. Any questions here? Could you give us a link to your YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Let me just send you one here. Okay. That was, yeah, actually that's my YouTube link. Yeah, you can just find my channel there and so on. How about fun? Uh-huh, we don't say funnier, funner, uh-huh, no, fun, actually fun is a noun. Funny is the adjective, funny, okay? I had never seen, you mean I have never, I have never seen politer, yes, politer is okay, actually, it's a bit, uh, not old, but we can say British maybe sometimes, but both forms are correct. Politer, more polite. Or the politest, the most polite person. Ah, if you want, the PDF is here. Support the teacher. Thank you very much, Ludwig. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, the PDF is here. So, yes, because of that, but we have. But about fun, that's funny. Okay, we say for example, he's a funny person. We never say he's a fun person. He's a funny person. Funny, we have a consonant plus Y. We talked about this. So remove Y to I, then EI. ER, funnier, like our friend Bogus sent it. Okay, so uh, let's continue here. Uh -huh. Now, before we go to the next part, I want everybody here to make some sentences. Funniest, actually, that's about superlative. We're going to talk about it. He's the funniest person I know. But for now, I want everybody, yeah, to make some sentences with what you learned right now. Uh, super uh, comparatives, monosyllable comparatives. Please uh, start making some sentences. It can be, I don't know, it can be funny sentences, it can be serious sentences, realistic sentences, hypotheticals. It, does, it doesn't matter. The all matter is that you follow the structure. This teacher is the nicer. Uh -huh. Do you think it's correct? Luca. Do you think it's correct? This teacher is the nicer. Is the nicer? Who are you comparing? Actually, you're comparing, for example, you're comparing me with who? Hmm? In comparatives, you're supposed to compare someone with someone else. The nicest, uh huh. The nicest is better, uh huh. This teacher is the nicest, nicest what? Nicest teacher, for example. It should be comparable. Yes, actually, yes, that's correct. But forget that. Let's make more more sentences. Come on, make your own sentences. He's better at math than me. I'm so jealous. Okay, don't be jealous. My young brother is taller than me. Okay, this teacher is the nicer of the two. Uh huh. Okay. Of the okay, but still, I mean, uh, if. Generally, we can say it's correct, but uh, your contacts, your audience should know who are that two, okay? Because that would be a bit vague, unclear. How about the word right? Uh -huh. We don't have writer, but you mean writer. He's writer than me. He is painting. His painting is better than mine. Uh -huh. Mine, very good, very good. My friend, uh, luckier than me. Where is your verb? N. Where is your verb? Hmm? My friend, luckier than me. Okay, where is the verb? My friend is luckier than me. My flat, bigger than my sister's flat. Uh-huh. My flat, okay, again, where is your verb? Where are you missing verbs here? My flat is. 
His pie is uh -huh, nicer than mine, nicer than, very good, my brother, older than me. And again, where is your verb? My brother is older than me. My cat is bigger than my dog. Okay, good. You have a cat and dog. Nice. Has a schedule? Of course, yes. Every Friday at the same time we started. Every Friday, the same time. Our country, the most beautiful one. Again, and where is your verb? My country is the most beautiful one. And that's superlative. She's happier with her new boyfriend. Okay, she's happier. Okay, what are you comparing? John P. She's happier with her with new boyfriend than she was in the past. Okay? I mean, in some movies, maybe you're, you're supposed to answer like, yeah, in some movies they say she's happier now. But in that situation, both sides know about what it's being compared with. She's happier. She's happier than what? Than who? Than when? Okay? No one could be smarter than him. Uh-huh. Okay. The gun is smarter than... Uh-huh. Okay. I'm the happier. No. I'm the happiest in the class. That's wrong, Luca. First, you're using superlatives. I am the happy. You're you are actually saying in happiness you are the best, but you're using comparatives in this situation. I'm the happiest student in the class. He is sillier, aha, uh -huh, sillier than me. And let me tell you something interesting, guys. Uh, he is sillier than I am is also correct. Instead of saying me, you can say. Uh, or, I mean pronoun plus the verb based on your sentence. For example, he is taller than I am or he's taller than me. For example, he works harder than me or he works harder than I do because of work. Mr. Bob is the nicer of the two math teachers. Uh, okay, these walls are more longer than my dad's walls. My dad's walls, apostrophe. Context, you are more real, realer. You are realer, mm, doesn't make really good sense here. You are realer, you are more real. More real is better. Uh, it was so funnier, it was so funny. No, 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 cat. There are no comparatives here. What are you comparing with what? Hmm? You are not comparing anything with anything. It was so funny, just longer. Uh -huh. And again, good correction. These vaults are more longer. That's a fossilized mistake students do. When you say longer, when you add EI, you must not, not don't have to, you must not say more. Okay? It's, it's either more, either ER, but in different situations. So these vaults are longer. Maybe. Now she's happier with her boyfriend. Uh -huh. Now she's happier. Okay, our Mac was bigger than your Mac. Okay, I'll th although I would rather the salt sugar has better benefits than the other. Okay, sugar has, has better benefits. Okay, she's happier with her new boyfriend than when she was with her previous boyfriend. Uh, okay, we can say. I'm crazier than crazy person. What does it mean? I'm crazier than crazy person. What crazy person? He's a slower than I do. No, no, no. He's a slower than I am. Cat, you say he is. You're using to be verbs. To be verbs. So so after that, after your pronoun, you have to use the correct to be verb. He is, I am. Okay? Thank you, Moss, for saying that. I'm crazier than a crazy person. Thanks, bro. Okay. Oh, thanks. Or he does something slower than I do. Of course. Very good. He does something slower. That's about adjective. That's about adverbs. But that's correct. And I do. This is emphasizing how crazy he is. Uh, I'm crazier than... Okay, if you want to do that, you can say I'm crazier than the craziest person. I'm crazier than the craziest person. Here means like, okay, who is the craziest person in the world? I'm even crazier than him. If you want to emphasize like you're that much crazy, but that's not a good comparison. No one says I'm crazy, but okay. Okay, thank you. I'm taller than my brother. That's good. Yeah, my room is cleaner than my brother's room. Room, you mean, uh-huh. 
is bigger than this car. It is bigger than this car. Okay, if you're crazier than him, then he is not the craziest. Uh, yes, of course, that's the point, Curzon. That's the point. Actually, it's something like emphasizing, like, okay, find the craziest person in the world. I'm even crazier than him. So, actually, I'm the craziest person in the world. It's a bit confusing based on what they said. He used to be the seal. What? Sealer person of all time. Uh -huh. He used to be the sealiest person of all times. He's luckier than me. I'm a faster dancer. I'm a faster dancer than her new boyfriend. Okay. I'm faster than you. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good quest. Good uh, examples. Don't just uh, use all of your energies. Keep it because we're going to use this energy a lot. So let's continue. Get back to my share screen here. Okay, we said that adjectives with only one syllable are monosyllable. But adjectives with more than one syllable are known as multisyllable. Okay, let's talk about multisyllables now. For example, beautiful, expensive, intelligent, important, many other adjectives and adverbs you know. We use more. We don't say ER anymore. We use more. And it doesn't have any rule. That's pretty simple. If it's multi-syllable is more than one syllable more beautiful more beautiful expensive more expensive intelligent more intelligent important more important can you say some examples can you say some multi-syllable adjectives this situation is the most awful with a uh, and f u l situation happened for me okay silly year silly year double l this car is more expensive than the mine. Than the mine? No. This car is more expensive than mine or than my car. The mine? No. Because let me tell you why, uh, Luca. Okay, everybody, please wait. Please wait. I have this sentence. Uh, Luca said this car is more expensive than the mine. The mine. Why the mine is wrong here? This is my question. It's about articles. Why the mine is wrong here? Let me also send it here. Luca said, Why the mine is wrong? Everybody, please answer this question. Let's answer this question. Okay, he's more ambitious than me, okay, or than I am. Tuition free, tuition fee for international student is, students is more expensive than local students. Ah, uh, okay. That tool is more useful for that task. Aha, uh -huh, good. Okay, I have this question. I have this question here. This car is more expensive. This car is more expensive than the mine. The mine. Why is this wrong? Aha, uh -huh, then instead of then. Mm, you mean then the mine? Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Then is wrong. Of course. Then I'm talking about the mine. The mine. Then mine. Okay. So why day is wrong? Why can't we say day? This is my question. I don't know. It's okay. Completely okay. The mine makes you think of a particular mine. Uh huh. Okay. But more artists. Okay. I have this question here now. She's more able than I am. Okay, good. When we say the mine, when you say mine, it's only you. I mean, in the whole world, we have only one you. For example, we have only one Luca in the world. When I'm with your last name. We only have one name of her. We only have one Anne, one Mary, one John P, one Nemo. So when you say mine, me, my something... That's ridiculous. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's meaningless if you say the, my car. Because my car is particular. Okay? It's a specific. I don't, this is only me that have a car. If I want to talk about myself. So it's already, my car is mine. Very good. We don't say the mine. Okay? Because it's already known for us. So, the correct that then I have. Okay, okay. More creative. Uh -huh, more creative. Creative, more creative. Very good. Got it. Look up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, before we go to irregular comparatives, again, 
I want everybody, 48 students here, to make some sentences about multi-syllable adjectives and comparatives, only comparatives. Come on, let's make your sentences here. Mine for me, us, yours for you, no. Mine, for example, say my car, okay? Uh, instead of saying my car, you say mine. And it's only correct when we know what you're talking about. Mine means my something. Ours means our something, our car. Yours means your something. My cousin is more artistic than me, okay? Yours means yours. Your plus something, ah, yeah. That tool is more useful for that task than that, ah, uh -huh, yeah, okay? That tool is more useful for that task than that. Actually, in this case, your contact should really know, really know what you're talking about. Because you say, that task than that. But it's okay, grammatically. So, make make some sentences, come on. Make some sentences, make some funny sentences, maybe. Ah, uh -huh, someone has a key. I'm sorry, I think I... Didn't see your question below. Above. Narrow is multisyllable, right? Do we have to say it more narrow? Because I often see a narrower. Your house is narrower. Uh -huh. Okay, so let me ask you this question. Do you think narrow is multisyllable? How many syllables does it have? For example, as I say, narrow. Okay, okay so like what? Narrow, narrow? No. Narrow. It's only one syllable. That's a mono. That's why you say, I often hear, narrower, of course. Your house is narrower, okay? Narrow is monosyllable. Noted, thank you so much, you're welcome. Understood, perfect, this is, this is interview, uh, then the first one. This interview is, and this interview is more important than the first one. Interview is, uh, he is more dangerous than any enemy combined. Ah, uh -huh. my ex is more narcissistic than my boyfriend now. Okay, how, how else? How is narrow? Okay, okay, let's let's do it together. Narrow. How can you pronounce it in different way? For example, uh, develop. For the, the verb develop, you can say develop, develop, or computer. For example, you can say computer. Computer or computer, I can put a source level on different situations. But what about narrow? Can I say like narrow, narrow? Is it ridiculous? Narrow? Ah, f yes, actually, they are the same here. Okay, so narrow is monosyllable, monosyllable. It's so dangerous to jump off from 10th floor. Yes, it's really dangerous. I remember that more also goes with an adverb. Yes, of course, we talked about it in May at the very beginning of the class. We said, for example, quickly, okay? Or uh, some of, someone said a slower, someone said slowly. He drives slowly than I do. He works harder than I do. Or if it's multi, for example, he, she, she sings more beautifully than I do or than me. Hmm? It's okay if you have an adverb and that's multisyllable, and you want to compare it, sure, use more. I knew a lot of people who is, no, when you say a lot of people, that's plural, a lot of people who are more hardworking and more intelligent than me. Okay, this bag is more expensive than the previous one. Uh-huh, it's good, thank you so much, you're welcome. Who is, yeah, who are? Who are because you say I knew a lot of people. Generally, people is plural. A lot of people means at least more than one. So who are? Can we say like this? She is more beautiful than I am. Of course, yes. I told you, Google font. Instead of saying me, okay, you can use pronouns like I, he, she, v, others, plus the correct verb. For example, if, if you say she is, we are using to be verbs, present to be verbs. So you should use present to be verb for I here, for example, I am. Or if you want to say she's more beautiful than he is, than they are, it's okay. He's more careful than me. Why do people say baddest? Baddest? What do you mean baddest? 
Aha, uh -huh, you mean bad? No, no, no. We will talk about bad, okay? Bad, good, far, no, no, no. These are irregular. Irregular uh, compared to superlatives. We say the worst. Worst, worst. Also, we have an expression. Let me tell you this. Uh, we say if worst comes to worst. If worst comes to worst. Means if we had a really bad situation. People, they are. That, uh, that pasta, no, dad's pasta, if you mean your dad's pasta, is more delicious than mom does. Uh, it's not correct. You mean, it's very say dad cooks pasta better than mom does, or mom cooks, mom does, okay? Dad's pasta is more delicious than mom does. Why, what is, why does? You said is. We cannot say does here. Then you are, okay? Uh, better games are more fun. More fun? No. Are, uh, are, you should use adjective, are funnier. For example. There is or there are is correct. Uh, what do you mean? There is for single, there are plural. Here is a bit more important than, he is a bit more important than, your regular two-bit gangster, okay? If I say human, I use is. Yes, human is. Humans or human are. But people are. But human beings. Human beings is are. Yeah, human beings. We normally say human being. We talk about human being as a singular um, word. But human beings, yes. Uh, okay, more fun is correct. Uh-huh, yeah. Better games are funnier. Okay, Aryan. Watch your language. Your funnier has a different meaning. Yes, funnier has a different meaning. Oh, understood. Thank you. The weather today is calmer uh -huh, than yesterday. His knowledge of trivia is more impressive than a Google search. Yes, yes. Fun and funny isn't. No, fun and funny aren't. Aren't the same. Say, for example, I don't know, playing football is fun. I mean, has fun normally. Playing football has fun. Or football is funny. You are funny. She is funny. He is funny. Person, one, people, a lot. You, grammatically also plural. No, 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 no. You is not plural. No, I'm just talking to you, Astro Cat. It's only you, one. Okay? But sometimes, for example, say, you guys, you students here. That's plural. So it depends about you. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's talk about irregular comparatives, shall we? Irregular adjectives do not follow the rules we've discussed so far. You, you, you need to memorize, okay? I don't know. Some, some students uh, message me about, hey, how can, how can I remember, for example, better? Worse, worse. Said so you can just memorize. Good becomes better. Bad becomes worse, not better. No, worse. Far, farther and further. Far. Uh huh. What's the difference between farther and further? And wealth becomes better. Farther, further. What's the difference, guys? Please tell me. Farther, further. Noted. Perfect. I see. Great. You is not always plural. Yes, yes. Actually, yes. We use with R. Yes. Of course, but it's not always plural. For example, I'm saying, Mary, could you help me? I'm just talking to Mary. But maybe say, for example, Ostro, Mary, and Honorable Knight. Could you guys help me? What well, I get it, perfect. Father with. Okay, what's the difference? What's the difference, Honorable? Father, no, no, father, no. Uh, further and a farther. Farther. Further, not father, no. How much further? Uh, bad, worse, worse. Thank you. I don't know. It's okay. But I've seen the baddest. No, that's not uh, grammatically correct. There are some like colloquial English. Maybe you, you've seen that in some, in some movies. No. Grammatically, I don't have it. Further beyond a huh? Father is a boy, like your object is. Uh -huh, okay, so let me say. Ah, father, you was no, look big, no, no, no. Ami Jeff, hey Nima, hello. Abstract far, uh huh, angry matter, no, no, no. Uh, father means a great distance. 
and it can be measured. Thank you very much. Yes, when you're talking about distance, you use ah uh, thank you very much in his in his yapa. Thank you. Yes, for extent further. For a distance, farther, or let me make it easier. Anything, expect. Distance, you say, further. For example, we will talk about comparatives in further slides, in further lessons, in further classes. But you can say, uh, the company is farther, is farther than what I expected. For example, it's like 20 miles away. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's continue again. So good, bad, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, further, and well, better. These are mono, these are irregular adjectives. Uh, superlative. Before we head over to superlatives, uh, I want you guys to again make some sentences with irregular, only irregular. Don't talk about multi or monosyllable. Just make irregular adjectives only and those who are not writing or typing down I once again I suggest you that you do it because if you just sit there and listen you're not going to learn anything you're just wasting your time but if you interact you say it you make some mistakes I mistake I correct you your friends peer correction correct you and that would work but if you just sit there, you're just wasting your time. I have less money than my cousin, okay? Uh-huh, less money. We're talking about less in further slides. For they can really do things other than distance. Yes, yes. Mm, that's correct. Okay, they're greeting. Good. Everyone's native language is better than a second language. Uh... Yes, technically. My, my recently job? No, my recent job. Okay, recently is an adverb. Recent, you should use here. My recent job is better than the, no, the, the previous one. Yes, it's okay. Yeah, very good. Is better. Good, better. Good, better. Okay, let's wait for others. Several people. That's really good. And also, I will uh, upload this video. I mean, today's class. I'm recording it. And you can watch it over and over. And tell your friends if they have missed the class. Tell them that. No need to worry. This food is the worst. Okay, but the superlative was great. My new phone makes pictures better than my old one. Takes pictures better. Takes pictures better. Uh huh. The children sometimes are noisier than the rock con concert. Oh. Isn't it offensive? I think it is supposed to be recently my job. Yes, you can say recently my job is better or my recent job is better. But if you use recently, you have to use a comma. Recently, my job. Let me tell you something about that, what our friend Ostra Cat mentioned. Whenever you use adverbs at the beginning of your sentence, use comma. Okay, for example, outer frequency. Sometimes I go to the gym. Sometimes comma. Or, I don't know, absolutely, I don't like sushi. After absolutely, that's a comma. And yes, I don't like sushi. So my cooking skills are getting better, but I'm still at the better at ordering, ordering takeout level, okay? The park is more further than I... No, we don't say more further. We say further. And you're talking about distance and farther. Because you're talking about distance and you don't say more farther no it's like saying more better we don't have more better we have much better and we will talk about it that's right and this is to go even further beyond oh yeah my father told me that the meaning of life is to be a better man hi teacher hello mind Reza. more further is not effective I guess okay furthermore how huh? furthermore yes means moreover, additionally. My brother has, John P, my brother is singular. My brother has many friends than I have. Uh, no, my, my brother has many friends or my brother has more friends than I have. 
or many more friends. Because further, you'll do more. Yes, yes, we don't say more further. We don't say more further. That's wrong, I told you. Further. We can discuss this further. Aha, uh -huh, means later. Here means later. We're doing great. Let's continue. Superlatives. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, before I show you, I, I want everybody to write down what is a superlative. What, what do we mean by superlative? Hmm? What is superlative? I have this question. Please help me and write it write it down. The best. Okay, could you elaborate? Could you explain more than just the best? Highest. Highest what? Uh, what's your name? A special loan? I will come again and buy. Okay, goodbye. Have a good day. Superlative is the highest tire. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what about the others? Bugs, you're doing great today. Superlatives worst for this okay so what are no no my question is what are they highest form of comparatives ah uh -huh. yes actually that's we can say that's correct something with the highest degree of a certain quality thank you very much yeah good let me show you now a superlative adjective compares one thing one person one place to all others in the same group for example in a class we have a student I want to say, for example, for example, who? Let me use a real name. Luca. Luca is the best student in the class. Luca is the smartest student in the class. I don't know. Astrocat is the tallest student in the class. Bagus is the funniest person in the class. Many other things. Everything is much clearer than it was before. It, uh, you're welcome. First of all, you say thank you. You're welcome. Everything is much clearer. Everything is... Everything is clear. Yes. Or everything is more clear than it was. We normally say more clear. Clearer doesn't sound good. But you're welcome. Adverb that is used to compare... One. Okay, only adverbs? Only adverbs? Fattest, yes. Fattest, uh, double T, yeah. He's the fattest person. Like, like top, uh-huh, uh-huh. This is the tallest building in the city. Uh-huh, very good. The most comprehensive, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, then you want, as our friend said, yes, the highest. It talks about the highest uh, degree of equality or characteristic. So, you're comparing one person among its or his or her group or thing whatever we use the before the adjective and we add suffix est but again we have rules monosyllable adjective for superlative again someone mentioned me oh yeah somewhere else uh if the adjective ends in a consonant vowel consonant do you remember it i told you square triangle is square Consonant, vowel, consonant. Don't worry. If if you find uh, the rules here, spelling rules difficult, it's totally okay. Because this week and the next week, I'm going to upload two videos about the spelling rules, about superlatives, comparatives, past verbs, past participle, regular verbs, ing form, I mean, present participle, and singular. Right? So don't worry about the spelling rules. But just try to understand. When you have this pattern, for example, big. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Double the last one. Biggest. The hottest. The wettest. I don't know. The thinnest. The fattest. For example, our friends. If the adjective ends with a consonant plus Y, you gotta change it. Change it to I. Then EST. Dry, the driest. Happy, the happiest. I'm the happiest teacher in the world, for example. I'm not, but generally. Silly, the silliest. If the adjective ends in E, just add a ST. Large, the largest, nice, the nicest, brave, the bravest, polite again, the politest, but as I said, the most polite is okay as well. Nowadays, the most polite is more common, okay, but politer and the politest, we can say old English, British English, yeah, but it's still, we can say it, okay, it's like mightn't, shan't, for shall not, but anyway, and generally, we add EST when none of the division above exists. For example, short. It doesn't end in E. It doesn't have consonant plus Y. And doesn't have consonant vowel consonants. 
So just an EST, just add an EST and go home. Like, you know, short, the shortest, tall, the tallest, small, the smallest. But I want to say something here. Uh, the highest, uh, okay, tires. Uh, okay, okay. What? For tallest, oh, it's like a name, I think. It's the best team in, okay. Politis is rarely used. Yes, as I told you. Uh, 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 actually, politis and politer are old English, we can say. Okay? But it's still we can say. Is the bravest. Uh, okay. These socks. Uh -huh, socks are the warmest. Uh -huh, good. He is the cleverest student. Uh -huh. Or here for clever. Because cleverest is a bit harder to pronounce with cleverer. It's better to say the most clever student. Politest or most polite? Both. Queen, both. Why? More polite, the most polite is now very common. We normally say that. But politer and the politest are Old English. For example, if you're reading literature, you definitely see that. Or if you are following British English, you can say. Is most, yes, most beautiful. Beautiful is multisyllable, so most beautiful. Uh, okay, but I have a question here about the word de, okay? Sometimes we pronounce it de and sometimes we pronounce it the. Can you tell me where? Can you please help me? Where I can say de something or the something. I have, I need help. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is there? Oh, okay. The, uh, the end of a song. Nice. The elephant. Okay, so how can I say that? The pen. Okay, so should I say the pen or the pen? Before vowel is the. Ah, okay. Before vowel. Mm. Could you say some examples, Wiki? The D vowels. The D consonants. Ah, you mean the. Okay. I think when people... The... Uh, ha, ha, that's good. We'll talk about that most. The... Uh, okay, okay. Before consonant is... TH. Uh -huh, okay, so yes. Very good, very good. So, for example, book. We say... The book, the book, but for example, uh, apple, the apple, very good, the apple, exactly, very good. Why? Because the word after the it starts with a vowel sound, not letter. What do you mean by that? We have vowel letters and vowel sounds. Look at this. Should I say the? University or the university, which one? The university, okay, thank you. What about the others? What about the others? Uh huh, people are saying the queen said the, Mari said the, Inisipa said the, uh huh, uh huh, mind raiser said the. Why? An says there, no, there, no, there or the, the university. Oh, that's something else, the university. The, the, the. Mm. Start with N? It doesn't start with N. No, 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 no. You are all wrong, unfortunately. University. What do you hear when I say university? Do you hear any vowel sound? Vowel sounds are A, I, O, U, E. Right? Okay, no, 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 no. You don't hear U. No, U is A. Ah. These are the words. E, E. O, A, and E. For here, for example, umbrella. Umbrella. It's a little bit begins with U, but I say umbrella. But here, I'm saying university. It's a yeah sound. Yeah, like a Y. The umbrella. Very good. Umbrella, umbrella. But I say the university. The university is correct. Because I say you. It's like. A yes sound. That's not vowel. So be careful with vowel sounds and letters. You are the or the best. You are a uh -huh. Again, we can talk about this most. You pointed to brilliant topics. How should I go there? Oh, it's the university. The same goes with uniform. Yeah, very good. We say the uniform. The uniform. 
we put an a based on the vowels yes yes that's something else yeah for example an apple yes but a university hmm? but i want to talk about two two more things here uh -huh. here okay I, I have this question uh i it was best I have ever had. Look at this sentence. It was the best pizza, and we just said pizza, pizza I have ever had. Can I say, normally I should say the best pizza, but can I say, I'm asking you guys, help me. Can I say the best pizza? It was the best pizza I've ever had. How was the pizza? Oh, it was the best pizza I've ever had. Yes, why, honorable, why? I think not, okay, okay. I guess you can, why? Please tell me why. Thank you. I have no idea, it's okay. But thank you very much, honorable night 99. Emphasis, yeah. When you want to emphasize the B consonant, okay, yeah. Yes, exactly, very good, in Sibia, yeah. Don't know, ah, oh, good. I think you skipped, Fernando. Yes, when you want to emphasize, okay, I want to emphasize how good the pizza was so it was the best pizza hello Mario okay so I'm trying to emphasize I'm putting emphasis on that and we use the one actually one more time here uh, when you, for example you are in a restaurant imagine you're in a restaurant and you are ordering something the waiter or the waitress uh, comes and say hello sir or hello madam what are you going to order Hmm? What would you like to eat? You say, I'll take the mm, pizza, for example. Or, I want the... You know, you do this. Why? Because you're thinking. You're thinking to use something. You don't say, I'm, I'm for example, I'll have the pizza. Because that's a bit not really sound good. Doesn't sound good. I'll have the. So, when, for example, you're thinking about uh, making decisions you can use the instead of them but generally when you're emphasizing a word for example the best pizza you say it was the best pizza and about vowels but let's continue because oh we're running out of time uh okay let's talk about the multi-syllable adjectives okay uh so here Beautiful, we say the most beautiful. We add the plus most instead of more for comparative. We use most. The most beautiful, the most wonderful, the most important, the most intelligent. These are four uh, multi syllable adjectives, four superlatives. But we have some irregular superlatives as well, and that we should memorize them. Good, the best, bad, the worst. Again, for well, we can use the best, and far, the farthest, and the furthest. But we have some tips for advanced or upper intermediate. Okay, so you can use then. Actually, then is a preposition that is used to introduce a second part of a comparison. For example, you can say Jack is taller than David. David is shorter than Jack. When you want to talk about the second part. Or this course is more expensive than the other one. The math exam was the math exam was more difficult than the chemistry exam. And again, for example, you want to say uh, I'm taller than him. You can say I'm taller than he is. He is smarter than I am. Instead of me, instead of him, you can use pronoun plus uh, the proper verb. If you're saying he is, you're using present to be verb. So you gotta use present to be verb for I, for example. So, he is smarter than I am, but less. We can use less again as well when we uh, want to talk about and to show a lower degree. We talked about a higher degree. Now, we're going to talk about a lower degree of a level or a level of a quality or characteristic. The opposite of more. For example, Ted is searching for a less demanding carrier. I'm looking for a less expensive laptop. For example, you don't have that much money to uh, buy a laptop, a very good laptop. You say, I'm looking for a less expensive laptop. Least, actually, 
uh, we use least to modify a noun as having the lowest, that's for compare it, that's for superlatives, the lowest level of equality. He's my least favorite person. This car is the least expensive one in this catalog, in this car shop, whatever. Uh, about shy, let me tell you that we have some exception. For example, here, shy, normally we said if it if you have consonant plus y, you gotta remove y to i and then er. We don't say shire, we say shire with y. Okay, that's kind of exceptions. And we use more before adverbs. We can say he speaks more fluently than I do again instead of me. Because we say he speaks. Because of that, we should use I do. If you say he is, I am. And we use the most before adverbs. For example, she uh, sings the most beautifully out of all the sentences. And for examples, you can just uh, go to my website and download the PDF. You can read all these examples. But generally, thank you, everybody. Uh, let me read the question to you. I didn't know that. Okay, list. So, okay, running is the least crazy thing. He's the least popular guy in the school. Okay. Thank, thanks for your lesson. I realize what I need to work on and what I need to learn and remember. Thank you, you're welcome. Thanks, teacher, you're welcome. Okay, thank you, everybody. Our class is over. I hope you found it useful. And actually, our class was recorded, so you can find the recorded one, the full video of our class tomorrow on my YouTube channel. So, uh, thank you, thank you for your welcome. He's the best, and he's the best presentation of the, okay, thank you, appreciate it, thank you, thank you. Can you teach voices for next time? Uh, you mean passive voice and uh, active voice? Okay, we can do that, thank you. It's most beautiful girl. Okay, thank you everybody. So if you don't have any questions, let me end the class. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, every Friday at 6 p.m. in my time zone, we have grammar classes. So uh first time today. That's really good, John P. Okay, thank you. And about the PDF, you can download it from my website. Okay, head over to my website. Let me send it again. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Wait, wait, wait. English with name of our dot com yes great just go there and then go to pdfs page then boom you are yeah you get access to tones of pdfs yes that's it okay so have a good day and goodbye